Hi, my name is Bryn, and welcome back to the Voxel File channel. When I had last left off, I had gone over why it was important and necessary to implement multiplayer into my game. However, that is a monumental task, so I have also implemented some smaller features in the past month. However, it's probably better if I show. If I go into the game here, what you will immediately notice is that there's now caves. These caves are not limited at the surface, so right now they break through the surface very often. However, that is definitely a desirable feature to limit the amount of cave entrances. If I walk around a little bit here, you will also notice that in the distance, new blocks load in uh, based on the distance away from the camera. This will actually go on forever as the world is infinite up to 2 billion blocks in either direction from zero. And I've also fixed a number of bugs in the past month, including an input bug which caused sporadic input, and a physics bug which caused people to clip through the world. I uh, also, and this is probably most importantly, implemented ray tracing for the entire rendering pipeline. So if you see all these blocks, every single pixel has a ray being sent out from the camera and it asks, is there a voxel here? No. Is there a voxel here? No. Is there a voxel here? Yes. This voxel is green, so paint this pixel to be grass colored or, or to be uh, green colored. I also made some optimizations to the ray casting or the ray tracing engine, uh, very similar to Douglas Dwyer's engine, which uses parallax ray marching. What that means is that the world is made up of chunks, and these chunks are rasterized before the ray tracing step in order to uh, essentially skip much of the work that has to be done in order to ray trace. What this results in is at a view distance of 128 at 4K, I'm getting about 60 FPS on an RTX 2060, which I consider to be really, uh, really performant, in fact, although there's definitely some work to be improved. In addition to the caves, the uh, physics bugs, the input bugs, uh, the infinite worlds, and the parallax ray marching. I've also made some general code improvements which is going to allow me to better implement multiplayer and other features in the future. If you have any questions, comments, or concerns, please feel free to send me a comment or a message, and I am appreciative of all feedback. So thank you so much. I hope you have a wonderful uh, life, wonderful rest of your day, and that is all for me for now. So I will see you until next time. Thank you so much. Goodbye.